Traditional artist, throw shit at canvas randomly until it looks like shit. Look at me, who will not be able to comprehend the complexity of the scene, the intricate soul I put in this stroke, which I drew using a brush made from pubic hairs of a virgin. AI, throw shit at canvas randomly, kick. If I shake it around, it look horse, the space suit shakes exponentially. Traditional artist, no, you can't throw sh at canvas randomly. Only I can do it. Here's a pen. I understand that concept of people having a life might be a difficult to grasp to the true artist without anything resembling a normal life, but try to imagine this. Warning, it requires creativity, something that majority artists lack. Ironically, not everyone has time to draw hundreds of heads in different angles until it stops looking bad. Can you imagine these idiots working 12 hours a day still want to have art they want. How dare they? This must not happen. We must gatekeep them. Fun? Not allowed. They deserve no art unless they invest as much time as I did. Reading books for fun? Unless it's Loomis, it is not fun. These people deserve to suffer not like you or me. We lucked and learned to draw. So now when we are adults working 12 hours job, we can spit at these peasants. Yes, the art is not the painting itself. Drawing is not the art. Art is the skill which separates us high society from these plebs. Art is what allows us to look from high horse above to everyone else. If we democratize it and even a child can get an image they want, are we not special like we were telling to each other all these years cries? What? As someone who has hobby both in deep learning, though not image gen and drawing, seething of artists is fun. Learning was not fun. I am extremely glad artists eat what they sawed. Disregard and lack of empathy. I think I just got brain damage. And uh, this guy says, you give on the same energy of the lanky dude with the beer gut who refuses to eat while it exercises, but still thinks everyone should find his body hot. That was, um, that was certainly a comment. Yeah. Let's get into it. Well, y'all proved me right about the essays point I made. God, I love that comment. That is such a good comment. The massive grammatical errors, the typos the the rage it's, it's beautiful it's beautiful so everybody first of all thank you for the recent support the growth of this channel in the past couple of days has been absolutely insane so let me just say thank you for that the reason my channel grew is because i made a video on ai art bros and they left quite a few comments either defending debating or just yelling at me so we're gonna go through them and we're gonna look at some funny comments we're going to look at some angry comments, and we're going to look at comments that actually, you know, it's a pretty decent debate. You know, we'll debate back. Just before we get into it, thank you for all the recent support. Now, we're going to go through and read all these comments and, you know, give my retorts as well as additional information that I neglected to mention in the first video. Before we do that, I just want to issue a correction. I did say that some of these AI image generators do charge after a while, which they do, but I did happen to say... Stability diffusion charges, which they do not charge. They do not charge, so, you know, I guess that makes it better. Alright, before we begin, I just want to get one elephant out of the room. The recreated art that I did in that video was not very good, okay? I agree that some of the uh, artwork did look a little bit... The anatomy looked a little, you know, masculine and the perspective was a little off. I could have put a little bit more time and effort into it, but part of the issue was that... It was a recreation where, uh, let's just say the composition wasn't up to a uh, reference standpoint. So let's just begin and start reading through these comments. I also love this comment right here. Love you trans woman art. That's, that's really funny. Okay. <laughs> I think that's a hilarious comment. I agree with you on almost everything, but come on, man. You need better art than that if you want to prove them wrong. And you're absolutely right about that. I really do not like the way that piece came out. But then again, unless it was of the recreation, I probably wouldn't have designed a scene like that. Hey, at the end of the video, you asked for your opinion, so I hope you don't mind my comment. Try to make the brush size way larger and lighter during the basic composition sketch, and as you clean up and add detail, you make it smaller and darker and play around with line weight. Also, use a doll or 3D model as a pose if you can't find a reference or make one. I usually use my brother as model. Her head came out a little big and manly, which it did. I'm new to your work, so that might be your style. Hmm. 
And you could have gone darker with the shading on the dragon monster thing on the foreground, but still way better than Jazz's brother AI stolen art vomit. I want to go so far as to call it vomit, but yeah, I do appreciate this feedback. I like comments like this. You know, and that's the reason I started putting art online is I want feedback. I want to get better, you know? I like critiques like this, and I did reply to this person. Oh, I've never once in my entire life grabbed a random texture off of Google and used it in an image. Never. Nope. Not me. Ha 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 ha. Cope. In summary, this is a video made because you hate generated pictures and someone made you angry by expressing his opinions, which you consider to be from a brainless person. Not angry. Irritated. It was really the, like, narcissism that bothered me. And I hope my video didn't come off as, like, I got a superiority complex or something like that. It's just that the whole, like, oh, I'm an artist kind of vibes that uh, Jazz's brother's videos and tweets came off as. Saying humans will always be superior to AI is a cope. Also, you're looking through the lens of a niche. Saying someone who acknowledges themselves as some state like alpha male isn't what they state is a shaming tactic. Just because it's true for some cases doesn't make it true for all cases. You assume everyone has to be humble about their abilities by not talking about it outright or else they don't have those abilities. Was Newton humble as an example? Of course not. He was high in narcissism. Does it make him not a genius now? Of course not, because words don't automatically invalidate abilities. First of all, if anybody actually goes around unironically going like, I'm an alpha male, I'm the top 10% of men, oh, I got over a thousand bodies. You know, you should absolutely fucking shame them. Man, these takes are brain dead. Wow, that is such a great comment. I love it. I love it. It's so good. Such a great counterpoint to my video. You didn't even come up with it yourself. You just took the title of the video and just flipped it over on me. Typical AI, bro. AI are better lol. <laughs> you so mean! What do you guys think? Better than Hassan's crying? Like I said before, I, I don't think my recreation was all that good. So if you did like the original AI are better, it's fine. Cope while you can, lol. So a lot of these comments are saying cope, like this video is a cope. I'm, it's not really a cope, it's more of a call out on the behaviors of the AI bros, okay? Because you're being dicks, alright? You can make your AI generated images, you can try to make them better, that's fine. I'm still gonna make art the old-fashioned way and so are thousands of people that watch this video, okay? And even in the comments I saw some people saying like this video makes me want to actually draw more, so... If I could do that, mission accomplished, you know? You know, you can call it a cope, but I think your comments on those videos are a cope. So let's move on. You know when there's a hobby you like, but it goes trending and the normies basically ruin it? That's how I feel about AI art, as someone who loves drawing even if not skilled at it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I did reply to this about how I don't think gatekeeping is like necessarily what we should do, so. Some people say that I'm gatekeeping art or these artists that are against this uh, theft of intellectual property are gatekeeping art. I'm not gatekeeping art. Nobody's gatekeeping art, you know. Again, pick up a pen or pencil. Get to work, you know. Nobody's stopping you, except for yourself, honestly. I'm not going to say that there aren't some artists out there that want to gatekeep things, but the issue is that you think everything belongs to you, okay? Like that you're old the world, which is kind of funny because that's sort of like a bit of a socialist mentality and aren't you guys usually more right wing <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know it's funny the politics is bizarre honestly it's weird it's all over the board maybe this will unite us huh all right but the thing is like you are not entitled to another person's work do you not get this do you not understand you go work a job guess what your boss has to pay you okay it's illegal to make somebody work for you and not pay them do, do you not do you not get this that you're operating on stolen labor. I don't know. It's like, it, no matter how many times I say it, like, it's not going to work. You know, you can lead a horse to water. You can't get it to drink. All right, let's move along. I want to talk about something that happened in the past in terms of stolen artwork. And that would be the Aaron Carter incident. Okay. So, rest in peace. He unfortunately died quite young. He had a lot of problems. You know, I kind of feel a little bad for the guy. But, I don't know. He had a bit of a hard life. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Let's talk about the Aaron Carter incident. So basically, this guy, Aaron Carter, you know, uh, he was related, you know, I Want Candy. Remember that? Any of you older folks in the <laughs> comments section remember that? So Aaron Carter stole somebody's artwork to put on his merchandise to sell. And basically, he got called out for it. And everybody literally was in agreement that he stole the artwork and he was in the wrong. He proceeded to make a very bad bullshit argument that 
if you put it out there, it's anybody's to use, which is not true at all. Like that is such that is such a smooth brain take. Basically, what happened was he had to stop making this merch because he was infringing on copyrighted content, right? Because in terms of intellectual property, if you make it, you own it, right? That's the basis of it. I'll put more information on screen about that. So if you take an image and you put it on your things to sell that you don't own the copyrights to, you're infringing on copyrights and you will get a cease and desist. Now, AI art bros like to say, well, the thing is, it takes all of these different images, right, and makes something new, so therefore, I should be allowed to use it in terms of selling stuff. We gotta get back to the people that sell AI artwork here. All right, so the thing is, you didn't make anything. The technology did. Once again, if anyone is an artist in the equation, it is the programmer. You're taking a bunch of copyrighted content, putting it together to make it unrecognizable from the source material, or recognizable in some cases, and you think that just because it's out there, it belongs to you. This is a matter of entitlement. You are entitled to nothing, my friend, okay? Listen. Listen. Look here! Look here! Look, listen! You take your entitlement and shove it up your ass because you are entitled to nothing in this world, okay? These AI bros are just the NFT slash crypto slash ape slash blockchain whatever tech bro people come back for round one billion. They're gonna get bored soon and try something else. On the more fascinating side, I feel the algorithms responsible for AI art are more reminiscent of memory recollection than of actual art. I have minor issues with AI art and its sourcing, but Jesus goddamn Christ, AI artists are the biggest source of terrible content and annoyances, like NFT bros on crack. And I commented a silly meme down there, so you can read that. It seems like some of the worst AI bros are actually failed crypto bros that went to take revenge on the artists for not producing more NFTs and recoup their losses. Pretty much. You know, they all had their origin as crypto bros. As someone who's never used an AI art generator, I had no idea they eventually start charging the users. Isn't the goal for these AI bros to make money? They'll never get rich if they keep putting money into an AI slot machine. Alright, now we gotta address something very, very important. Scammers in the AI art bro community. There are people that are actually selling courses in prompting. Can you believe that? The thing about these scammers is some of them are trying to sell you courses that teach you how to prompt. I'm like, dude, it's called a thesaurus. <laughs> and it probably costs way less, which is insane, honestly. And then there are people that are selling AI generated artwork. And the thing is, some of them aren't disclosing that it's AI generated. And we all know why, because as soon as it's AI generated, it already gets devalued because you know it's a culmination of content that they didn't have the copyrights to, as in modern age digital bootlegging. You want to sell your shitty digital art, do so, but I think you should disclose that, okay? That's just my moral beliefs on that, but, you know, you can be a dick, that's fine. There's no law against being a dick. And there's no law uh, against me calling you out for being a dick, okay? So, yeah, that's a little scummy, right? That, that's a scummy behavior. You're just like the NFT bros that stole people's arts to mint NFTs to, to get some crypto scam going. Anyway, moving along. As someone who has put effort in my art since I was very young, I find the concept of AI art very weird. Actual art contains a human element. Artists put in years upon years perfecting their craft and a computer just can't replace that skill. Typing words into a generator for a couple minutes to get a half-decent product with a stolen art style will usually never compare to years of sweat, tears, and hand cramping to eventually create good art. With all that aside, great video. Thank you for that. I'm on Twitter the other day, right? And, you know, like, you come across, like, some of those random news sites that'll just pop up in your feed. And there's this one feed that did a post that was, uh, happy birthday to Scarlett Johansson, the actor, right? Black Widow. Uh, I liked her in Under the Skin. You guys ever see that movie? That movie is awesome. And the image itself is an AI-generated lewd of Scarlett Johansson, right? In, like, her underwear. But the thing is, like, you could tell, like, wait, hold on. It gives you immediately Uncanny Valley vibes. The problem is, why are you AI generating that? You could have just went to Google and grabbed the first image, right? Like, why do you need to make this image, right? Yeah, why are you AI generating things that don't even need to be AI generated? It would have been so much easier to just grab an image off of Google. Something people like this fail to understand is AI art is in its extreme infancy. It's the same argument musicians use for DJs. They use a mixing board to combine samples from existing musicians to create new work, so of course they are not as good as me, a real musician. I am somehow better, and my genius cannot be quantified. Listen. Periods are your friend. You should use them more. Or use an 
M dash or a semicolon. Jesus. Human made art will never go away, but make no mistake, AI art cannot be stopped and will continue to improve. There will be talented people who will be able to manipulate prompts and create amazing art indistinguishable from your average artist. Stop letting your ego get in the way. 99% of artists don't make anything new or special in the same way that 99% of AI generated art isn't exactly special. Right now it's trash in, trash out, but it won't always be. You seem to think that you went through a learning process that isn't formulaic and because you are special, it cannot be duplicated by clever code. It's this kind of thinking that will eventually make you obsolete doing mediocre sketches for your grandkids while muttering how much better the old days were before pesky computers. And somebody replied, oof, someone's triggered. Let me talk about uh, that one sampling comment here. Okay, so this is a pretty solid argument. I wouldn't say this isn't um, an argument I haven't seen before, but I think it's a pretty solid argument. But the thing is, with music copyright, that's sort of on a case-by-case basis, and a lot of times these producers that, like, get their stuff, like you know, out there, bigger ones, right? Like those big record labels, it's sort of a case-by-case basis, but usually they get the copyright from the content that they're sampling. There's a little bit more to that, but that's not really what this video was about, okay? I think it's silly to compare AI skill to traditional art skill. Yes, some methods of AI are more skill-based than others. Using control net with stable diffusion with A1111 is more skill-based than prompt writing, but it pales in comparison to learning to draw realistically from imagination traditionally. You can get realistic results from AI in less than a day. Do that from imagination traditionally, and it'll take years, if not decades, of practice, and even then, and only 0.01% of those artists actually get good at it. Not true. I will t- address that as soon as I'm done reading this comment. Also, AI isn't really meant to be difficult. The entire point of its existence is to make things as easy and accessible as possible. If it was just as hard, no one would be using it as they might as well just learn to draw then. My biggest problem with artists versus AI users is in the mindset. Artists tend to be inspired by those they look up to, but entire AI communities use AI for the sole purpose of mocking the artist. Many of them just despise artists as a whole and don't really use AI because they themselves are inspired. They use it for the sole purpose of mocking artists. An example is Kim jong Gi after he died, or Sam does arts, which I will be addressing in this video. I did not mention that one incident in the previous video. I will be talking about that. Follow subreddits for charcoal, graphite, oil, acrylic, watercolor, or digital painting. All I see is art and people who are inspired to learn to draw. It's all pretty positive. When I follow AI subreddits, half the posts that end up on my feed are people that just hate artists, mock them, or are just plain vicious in their mentality. Which was the entire point of the video. Thank you, okay? Remember, I was addressing some of the issues with AI art, but the main point of the video was the behavior of the AI art bros, which I was trying to bring to light, okay? Okay. So recently, a big company, uh, Disney, uh, shut down, I believe it was a Microsoft AI. I'll uh, put the article on screen if I can find it, and I'll link it in the description. But basically, because this particular AI generator could generate uh, Pixar movie posters, I'm sure you've seen the memes, they're f-ing hilarious, okay? I think that's what AI should be used for. Disney shut them down, because they're Disney, right? But the thing is, us, like online artists, very small businesses, you know, we don't have that kind of power because we don't, we can't afford lawyers that good. We got to talk about the Sam Does Arts incident. I'm not going to talk about it, but basically the abridged version is somebody took a bunch of his artwork and trained an AI to generate artwork that infringes upon his copyright. I'll link to some video that probably broke it down way better. Whether people are obnoxious about it or not, AI art will eventually replace human art. So I reply, doubt it, good luck, buddy. And now he thinks I meant that serious. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, okay, good luck. I didn't mean, like, good luck, buddy. I mean, like, yeah, fucking good luck. <laughs> I guess tone can't come across in text. You think tone can come across in AI-generated content? I don't know about that. That's for you to debate in the comments. Hey, I'm not the one working on it, and do you really want to wish him luck? Seems to go against your interests. By the way, I don't know if you'll take my word for it, but I want to clear some things up about how image generation AI, AI works. It's actually quite analogous to a human looking at things, learning what they are, and taking inspiration. Is that fucking word again? From that knowledge in your prompt. The AI doesn't have eyes, so it must be fed pairs of images and text descriptions. This is in, this is the training data, and learning from it is all the AI does. It doesn't take pieces from different images and mash them together, calling it copyright infringement. is like calling a human looking at copyright images. So I pulled up this article from a, what do you call that? Like a coding website, Alex Soft. Looks pretty legit, but let's see. Diffusion models, right? Like stable diffusion. It's literally in the name. One of the most popular AI generators out there. Diffusion models are a type of generative model in machine learning that create new data such as images or sounds by imitating the data they have been trained on. Do you not see this one right here? The data they have been trained on. Where are they getting that data? At what point do they get the consent of us artists to put our data into this? They accomplish this by applying a process similar to the fusion, hence the name. They progressively add noise to the data and learn how to reverse it to create new similar data, as in reverse engineering, which I believe is illegal in a lot of cases. Give the fusion models as master chefs who learn to make dishes that taste just like the ones they've tried before. The chef tastes the dish, as in grabs an image, 
understands the ingredients, as in compares them to similar images, right? So let's say images of a dragon, right? Dragons are a very popular creature to draw, right? Everybody loves a good dragon. And then it takes those images, right? And then makes a new dish that tastes very similar, as in mashes it together to create a new image out of the stolen content. Similarly, diffusion models can generate data-like images that are very much like the ones they've been trained on because it takes pieces of that data that it doesn't that that it doesn't have the rights to. Do you not get this? Now, this is the diffusion models. There are different models that use a different process, but the most popular one right now is literally called stable diffusion. I'm pretty sure that uses a diffusion model. Let's fact check that. Okay, architecture. Stable diffusion uses a kind of diffusion model. DM called a latent diffusion model developed by these people. I think I'm right on this one. I don't know. You can debate me in the comments, but where is it getting the data to train the diffusion models on? Stable diffusion was pa trained on pairs of images and captions taken from Leon 5B, a publicly available data set derived from common crawl data scrape from the web. Common crawl data scrape from the web. Where 5 billion image text pairs were classified based on language. Leon 5B. Okay, let's look at that. Freely available data set. In recent months, numerous lawsuits, news headlines, and protest letters have accused Leon and the companies that train on its data set of massively infringing copyright. See, the thing is now, this data set itself is uh, in the courts. So, we'll see how this goes. Honestly, they're, they're, this... Uh, this is still tied up in litigation. This, this technology is quite new, so we'll see who wins in the end. Oh, wait. Somebody went back at him. That wasn't me. Okay, so let's see what they have to say. I've got no clue as to what point you're actually trying to make, given how all over the place your comment is. That being said, being able to prompt Draw Me X in the style Y is definitely pushing the boundaries of some sort of copyright or theft laws. That's right. It can't learn an art style without that artist's work, okay? So someone like Sam does art, whose artwork was never... Uh, cleared for these databases had his work stolen. Somebody made an AI generative model of his work without his consent. Do you not, do you not get it? I feel like I'm XQC trying to explain to Pokimane why I took a 10 million dollar deal. Are you f***ing kidding me? Getting a little bit more heated in this one, but it's because, like, these replies are brain dead. Shut up, man. We all get how they work, and you're not importing some grand wisdom that will educate us lowly artist types to justify our theft. No, they don't run like humans, and no, a company has no right to take, in bold, take, which they did, you know, forcibly, you know, as in, stole billions of images without consent and use them how they feel like, especially for profit. This is a tire defense debunked a million times over. So much that it feels your statement may as well have been generated by AI. Educate yourself on how actual humans learn and create art. And the original poster went back, it would be if art styles could be copyrighted. Which, that's a bit of a debate that we can have. Alright, and then somebody else goes back, or maybe some one of the other replies goes back. Legal or not, it's theft, so... Editor John here. I just want to admit something here is that the debate versus how a machine learns and how a human artist would use reference is probably, probably the most reasonable argument these AI bros have. Now, I'm not going to totally give it to them, but I feel like it might be a matter of semantics. I am an artist, not a programmer, so my expertise is in creating art, not developing AI software. But I don't think a machine and a human learn the same way. Even though I think the point of machine learning is to imitate human learning, it's not quite the same. There's room for a debate about how exactly reference is used and how exactly the machines learn. And a lot of it could come down to semantics, but I feel like they might actually have something here, so I don't know. This is up for debate, alright? So I'm just going to put this in here just to kind of give give the AI bros one, alright? Like, eh, alright, I can kind of hear you out on this one, but, you know, for the most part, it's like, eh, it's not quite the same. This next comment is very, 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 very long. Like, insanely long. But there are some good points brought up, so bear with me, and we're going to get through this. Yeah, this is going to be a long one, so strap in. I'm an artist who spent years to build his skills and also took time to learn how the AI tools work. Yeah? You took time to build your skills? Small spelling error meme? <laughs> Right, let's let's actually let's take this seriously. Maybe you just made a typo. The only reason I'm writing this is to point out to anyone watching this video every misinformation in the video to help people know the truth. See this word right here, misinformation. This word has so much context to it now. Ever since basically 2020, it's sort of evolved into one of those words that's been heavily politicized. Like it used to be like back in the day, 
like, I don't know, if you go back to the Obama years, the word racist was serious. Now anybody can call anybody a racist. Like, mm, shut the f*** up. You know what I mean? <laughs> the word misinformation has been heavily politicized, and that's actually something that AI probably wouldn't be able to understand because most of its databases are built upon factual things, right? Now, the word misinformation has political connotations to it, so. Grain of salt taken. Anyway, let's get into this comment. No, 90% AI does not look like that. With the current models, it's actually difficult to get more bodies. Two years ago, yes. Today, no. So I let that slide as a joke. Too simplified. It's not mashing up images. It's reconstructing images from random noise that were trained with pairs of an image and a text caption. You can train ethically, unethically, overtrain, or just train your own artworks. It's not pirated content if a regular artist downloads an image and uses it as a reference, but it is when AI is used. Nope. The laws for training AIs with copyrighted materials just didn't exist at that time because AI that advanced wasn't a thing yet. There are already a few countries like Japan that say it's illegal to use copyrighted images for training models. Japan? Really? The copyright Nazis of the world? <laughs> I'm gonna have to fact check that one. AI generated content cannot be copyrighted in Japan or the USA, right? So we wanna add that in there. Even though the AI generated content can be cleared to get copyrighted content to train their models, the content that it generates cannot be copyrighted. The UK right now is misinterpreting the wording in their law. That's a matter of semantics. And over in Australia, it hasn't gone to court yet. So that might be why uh, Jazz's brother made that video. Other countries are still defining the laws on it. In the end, it comes down to the user. An artist totally could trace an image and say they made it. Still happens to this day. <laughs> no, they can't because there's massive backlash when you do that. When they find out they, you, that you trace something, you get canceled, okay? I don't mean cancel in like the political sense. I mean like you're sort of exiled from the art community, okay? If anybody finds out that you've been tracing art and passing it off as your own, Okay, this is something you AI bros don't understand, okay? This is sort of like the unspoken rule. If you trace artwork for profit, you know, to sell or to claim as your own, you know, you can use tracing as like sort of to get an idea of how to draw things to practice, sure. But if you use it in the manner where you intend to sell it or pass it off as your own and you get found out, that that's a big no-no okay that that's a big no-no to us artists okay i'll give a specific example let's talk about joe rogan for a second so carlos mencia used to be a very popular comedian he had a comedy central tv show that um i remember i watched it a little bit back in the day but he got found out that in his stand-up he was stealing jokes from many comics and joe rogan literally approached him at a show on stage and he confronted him about his stolen jokes eventually carlos mencia's career nosedives right because stealing shit you didn't make is not f***ing cool all right i'm sorry to get a little heated here but i don't think you guys are getting this whatever you know some people are just going to hear what they want to hear it's the same as an ai tool using overtrained results and claiming they made it may i remind you that one big youtube artist who heavily referenced photos but did not credit the ref same thing he's talking about the raw straws thing it really is a shame artists could have used this tech eg i'm pretty sure it's ie now i'm just saying to create their own official lauras to sell their style as a plugin Adobe Firefly does that, for example. They use Adobe stock images to train their mouse. Okay, first of all, nobody uses Adobe Firefly. None of these AI bros are like, oh yeah, let me check out Adobe Firefly because it's not as good as something like Stability Diffusion. Adobe stock images are user-generated content that you can post onto their database. They actually have to get approved by them because I tried to put some stock images on there one time, way back, right? You gotta get approved to be part of the collection of stock images that you have to pay for, by the way. It's a subscription-based service. And that Adobe Firefly came out and took those images in the stock library and put them into Adobe Firefly. Now I'm gonna fact check whether or not th those photographers or illustrators got paid for that, so I'll just put that over here. Using any tool requires skill. It's not as simple as pushing a button. Any tool requires skill, really? Let me ask you something, this mouse right here. How much skill does this require? You move it around and click it. Would you call that a skill? I don't think so, but that's just my thoughts on that matter. The whole point about AI being a skill, sure, it's a skill in the same way that Microsoft Excel is a skill. Where's that old meme from like Office Space? You remember that meme with uh, Newman from Seinfeld? Where he's like, hey, look, he knows how to use uh, Microsoft Excel. And he looks back, nobody cares, right? Same thing with AI art. Yeah, okay, I guess it's a skill in some way, but like it's a very light, non-intensive skill that you can pick up very, very, very shortly in the matter of a few keystrokes. You know, like I mentioned, the mouse example. Okay. Yes, some charge money, but Stable Diffusion is completely free to use. If you have a good GPU, you can run it locally on your own PC. If not, you can use online services. There are a lot, which charge you for though. A lot of businesses... <clears throat> a lot of businesses make use of free tech, plus something new to make money with it. Why skip that part? It's the most important part. It goes back to the pirated point. Okay. So he's talking about the part in the video where I briefly mentioned that when you pay for these services, 
I think you're technically aiding and abetting in piracy, um, but this really isn't my field of expertise as I'm not a lawyer, okay? Now, if somebody with uh, an attorney's license wants to leave a comment down there, I would really appreciate it. Um, so, let's move on. Sheen that only AI art has. Bro, you just, you just said it yourself a second ago. It's based on real art that has that sheen. AI just carries that over. I think you were just exposed to too much AI art that was created with the same few popular models. Okay, so this part is in reference to the fact that I mentioned that the art looks shiny. There's like a certain sheen or shininess to all these AI-generated images. And I pointed out that it was probably drawn by like a certain homogenized art style that seemed to be popular in the industry. The thing is, with the AI-generated artwork, it gets this sort of uncanny valley look that's a little bit different than the images it's trained on. It's sort of... It's kind of hard to explain unless, like, you've looked at a lot of art, okay? But I think the artists in the comments know what I mean. It's sort of like, it really is like Uncanny Valley is the best way to describe it. Strong us versus them mentality. Not cool. There are shades of gray. It's not just black and white. That is in reference to my opinions on AI art bros, which... Muff, you started it. So not to mention this whole us versus them mentality part of this comment is a lot of AI art bro cope. You're the one that's coping, buddy. There are so many amazingly talented artists out there who don't become artists due to a lot of different reasons. One of which is that they don't enjoy doing art. I'm calling bullshit on that. I think if you don't like doing something, you wouldn't do it. Even if you have the skills to do it. I, I don't know. That that's a philosophical debate. Just because you're good at something doesn't mean you enjoy doing it. Yeah, but the thing is, if you don't enjoy doing it and it's a completely optional thing, would you even do it to begin with? Like, the only reason I kept going on YouTube is because I like making YouTube videos. Like, I started out just like, eh, maybe I could get, like, an audience that I could, like, put my art in front of people and, you know, make some cool videos. And, you know, over time it didn't really grow and at a certain point I actually quit. But then I came back because I kind of liked making videos and that's sort of why I came back. And let me follow up on that one point about artists that you know, don't make it even though they're very talented. Talent is a bullshit word as much as inspiration is. That's just a word that likes to get thrown around to make bullshit excuses for people that don't want to actually put the work and effort in. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some people that have a little bit more of a natural inclination into something, but you still gotta work on it. Look at someone like Jimi Hendrix, a guitar prodigy. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he didn't start off knowing, like, all the chords and everything the second he picked up a guitar, right? And also, I'm not a fan of tying the word artist to one's profession. I'm a UX, di I'm a UX designer, but also an artist because I create works of art after work. It's a tool. The one using the tool holds the responsibility. Before AI, it was already possible to do illegal and unethical things with just photos. Shop. And there are already a absolutely unethical artists out there who draw and paint the worst things in existence. That's fair. Don't blame AI for that. Horrible stuff always existed. AI is just a new medium. Okay, so I think he's in reference to the point that I was talking about how AI can be used to do horrible things. So here's the thing about uh, the tool point. Once again, a little follow up is that just because a tool exists doesn't mean it can't be used for bad purposes. In most states, it's illegal for sex offenders to own computers. Once you use the tools for heinous crimes, guess what? You're probably going to be banned from using them, right? Or unless you use them illegally. We're, we're going to move on. Democratizes? I'd rather say it's a new method of generating images that look like good artwork for people with low, no or low artistic skills. But that doesn't mean people with art skills can't benefit from it. I think it's artists who use AI in an ethical way will profit the most. Listen, this isn't about profit. Not, this whole video was not about profit or the controversies around AI art. I just wanted to shine a little light on some of the issues with AI technology and the horrible behaviors of these AI art bros. When I was doing research for this follow-up video, I came across a subreddit called r slash artist hate, which exposes people that literally just hate artists Usually, 99% of the time, for AI bros, okay? Okay, so here we are over on r slash artist hate. I just wanted to take a look at it just to show you the... Let's just filter out for just hate as in AI art bros being dicks. I love this one. I don't know why this is so crusty. Yeah, do you see uh, all these replies to the PewDiePie incident? So, recently PewDiePie did a video where he basically set aside about 10 to 15 minutes a day to learn to draw, which was a cool video. I watched it. Alright, if you take out the equation that he was PewDiePie, he was just some guy that decided to spend a few 10-15 minutes a day to draw, right? And, uh, well, let's just say the, uh, response from the AI bros was not very kind. I'm gonna actually insert a clip from a channel called Rev Says Desu, who is like one of those, uh, Twitter commentator people. 
You know what I mean? Where they go on Twitter, find a tweet, and be like, look at this moron. You know, whether you like the guy or not, I'm just going to edit in a couple of clips where he writes some quote retweets. I'll uh, put that here. A lot of people made observations like this quote retweet right here saying, AI bros when they see a pencil with a uh, picture of Papa Franku here. Yes, uh, this tweet in PewDiePie's video got a lot of AI enthusiasts very, very angry. Hitler was an artist. That's proof enough that AI art is the correct line. Uh, here's another one saying anti-AI chuds romanticize the idea of the struggling artist like it's their whole personality trait, yet their poster child of relatability is a guy with no struggles. Funniest stuff. Now, this user does not know anything about PewDiePie's life where they can say he has no struggles. You don't know him like that. You don't know what's going on in his life. But this idea that PewDiePie cannot be the face of this video's message because he's wealthy and successful is ridiculous. Here's another one, uh, this quote starting off saying, uh, an internet celebrity with about as much free time uh, one could have draws every day so can, so can you, is not the argument I would use personally. Here's another one saying, am I going crazy? Did everyone just forget this guy is a Nazi because he drew anime woman instead of typing a prompt? Uh, here's another person saying, Hitler finally learns art. So yeah, the whole PewDiePie incident was uh, definitely made AI bros appear even worse. Here we go. Here's some actually here's something that I can actually read. Jeez. This one says, all these anti-AI people just make me appreciate AI art more. It's like the opposite of what they want to happen. It's like the anti-AI argument turned from a debate to a toxic hissy fit, with the sole argument being AI art bad, human art good. It's not that simple. It's become so blatantly obvious that I just don't care about their arguments anymore. I would if they actually made sense, but unfortunately they don't. Look, man, you can make your AI art. That's totally fine by me, alright? I don't think it looks very good, and there are some ethical and legal issues with it. What the, my problem is, is your behavior, okay? The entire point of the video was this sort of anti-artist, or even anti-humanist, I guess you could say, rhetoric that you were spewing, okay? That was the main point. And then you go around and say, like, I created this masterpiece, but it, it looks like shit, okay? <laughs> That was another point. It was like, oh, look how much better AI art is when objectively in a lot of cases it isn't. All right, and this guy follows it up, I believe. It goes a step further. Because of their behavior, I actively want to see them lose. Okay, well, motherfucker, you started it. I don't want to see you lose. I just want to see you go away, okay? Like, you're annoying. Get out. Go in your own little dark corners of the internet, all right? Where you, like, make 500 videos about ugly female characters in video games, all right? And, like, look, man, I, I appreciate it when women are hot, too. But, like, uh, making 500,000 videos about poor character modeling in modern Western games? Like, dude, like, get a life. Like, come on. Play Japanese. Like I do. After seeing these so-called wannabe oddest dogpiling. They like that word dogpiling, don't they? People who use AI art and throwing death threats and doxings, etc. I... Listen, guys. Don't send death threats or dox people. Regardless of how you feel about them. That's not f***ing cool. Okay, I don't care if you are an AI bro or an anti-AI artist or whatever, or a completely outside party, just do not harass docs or send death threats to people. Don't do that. I mean, I don't think I have to explain why, but in this day and age, I feel like I might have to. That's not cool, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> because let's be honest, real artists are just continuing to create and have adopted AI into their workflow. The moaners are hex slapping together below average fan art and charging people for it. I would consider myself a real artist. Maybe not a great artist, but a real artist, sure. The thing is, I messed around with AI tools when they came out. And I'm like, I don't really see any benefit of them to how they could improve my art. And also... That little demonstration I gave about how it takes three pushes of a button. I'm gonna tell you something, that left me completely unsatisfied. It's not the same as, like, actually drawing a piece and finishing it. The feeling, the journey, it's just not right. It feels wrong. It feels like, ah, whatever. You know? It doesn't feel like, oh, okay, look, I finished this piece. All right. You know? And then I could share it with the world. People can look at it, maybe give me feedback. I could take a look at it later on and see how much I improved or what I fucked on what I gotta work on. I don't know. It's just a different process. It's like working out and taking steroids. You know what I mean? Oh no, the organic grocery store is going bankrupt because they haven't switched to selling fast food. But seriously, Inkblood has to step up its game. Let's read this. 
Oops, maybe banning most of your future customers isn't the best strategy for an art portal to survive. Catering to the few hundred shrieking Ludites isn't exactly a viable growth strategy. You know, they like to use this word, a Ludite, which was the guy that... I forget which machine it was, but, like, he used to do this, uh... I'll put it. I'll put the whole thing on screen. But basically, he used to do a thing by hand, and somebody invented a machine, and he was trying to stop it. I'm not trying to stop AI. Okay. Listen, I actually use AI sometimes. If you guys saw the uh, Inktober video, I did a little bit of like uh, analog horror things where I had, like the emergency broadcast system that was read by an AI voice. And um, I've used ChatGPT a few times just to kind of get, like, tags in the video. You know what I mean? When you upload a video and, like, has the searchable keywords and the tags, I've used ChatGPT for that. Messed around with a lot of these AI tools. Just the only one that really doesn't do anything for me is the AI art generation. I don't think it's going to replace us, all right? I really don't think that. You may think so, and that's fine, but I don't think so. I really do think human-made content is always going to be more valuable, but that's just my opinion. You could debate me in the comments. I'm not a Ludite, okay? I've used AI stuff before. I don't hate AI, all right? I don't even hate these AI image generators. I just hate your behavior. You got this superiority complex about you that really pisses us off. It's nothing to do with the technology itself. I just did bring to light some of the issues with it just to bring some awareness to it, right? And some of the controversies and problems legally around it but my main problem is the behavior of the ai bros okay all right please let that be the takeaway from this video what's to say come join our mod team where you get to ban ai bros for breakfast every day all right see now i'm not necessarily in favor of this kind of behavior you get to ban ai bros for that's a little funny is someone gonna tell them that the ai generated images aren't art and they aren't an artist Right, th this kind of behavior from our side, I guess you could say the artist side, the human side, I don't necessarily condone it. I'm not stepping away, but I realize that if I don't make these changes and cry for help, Inkblot will not survive. I am sorry if I am sorry to disappoint. I am sorry this is not good news. I hope with these changes we can survive. Oh, hey guys, listen. There's a website that's been around for years that you can post your artwork on has a zero tolerance policy for AI generated images and that is newgrounds.com 100% uncensored unfiltered no AI lab great website you should see my favorites on there <laughs> there's something I didn't mention in the first video is that a lot of these AI generated images are very um coomer brained however part of the reason I didn't mention that is because well guilty as charged if you look back at some of my older artwork well, some of my more recent artwork too well let's just say there's a lot of uh drawings of like pinups and all that and if you look at my twitter likes and like my favorites on newgrounds over there yeah i mean i can't help it if hentai artists are the best artists sorry i like drawings of like half naked women sorry sorry not sorry so i'm gonna let that one slide but yeah i mean part of the problem is that images that are generated that are not even meant to be coomer brained come out coomer brained because these uh databases scrape images of pornography also think about it Databases have images of children and images of adult content. What do you think's gonna happen? Joe Biden's wet dream's gonna happen. AI bros casually making imaginary plans for how to take down art places that have been ML generated images because they do not cater to their specific desires. Banning AI art, also banning people whose art looks like AI and tells them to change their style even if they can prove it's not AI. Yeah, this is another issue on the artist slash human side is that sometimes somebody will post an image and people will claim it's AI when it's not. So yeah, that's uh that's not good guys. That's not cool. Part of this problem is that sometimes you can't tell if it's AI generated. Like I said, nine times out of ten you can, but that tenth time you can't. You know, that's part of the issue with that whole uh propaganda around that certain conflict in a certain part of the world that is going on right now. Uh that I really don't want to comment on. All I'm just saying is war, violence, and death are bad. Please stop. Hot take, I know. I have a potential solution for this whole problem. Is that these web browsers or these companies or these user-generated platforms, you know, like Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, all that, should have some kind of line of code in them that discloses that they're AI generated. I, I feel like that's probably going to be like the best solution. If maybe like uh, you got to like register with the local government or something when you put your browser out there or whatever. I'm not entirely sure how that works. All right, um, but 
you know, maybe somebody that's a little bit more uh, proficient in the legalities of creating software would uh, be able to tell me. If we have some kind of way to put like a line of code or something that tells you that it's AI generated, sort of like how uh, they did with Twitter where the bot accounts have a little robot on it, uh, which they didn't before Elon took over, which I think this was probably one of his best changes is that you can tell which accounts are bots, you know? I think that's my solution, all right? that That's my suggestion. I, I think that's a good idea, right? We can coexist. But the problem is AI bros don't want that because they know as soon as somebody finds out their stuff is AI generated, they're going to lose profit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Honestly, people should keep posting AI art and not revealing how they made it. See? See what I mean? The uh, case in fucking point. It'll either drive the mods to crack down harder and self-destruct or force them to accept posts that look good no matter how they were made. And once again, not all AI art looks good. As a matter of fact, a lot of it looks really bad. No, they'd rather ban people who make art that looks AI. So they'd self-destruct and a new community will take its place. No thoughts at all. These people think in AI, eat AI, breathe AI, masturbate with AI. Might as well remove their brains. Yeah, I also don't get uh, people that make AI-generated adult content. Like, there's terabytes of that shit just on the hub, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? Or, or get good at drawing. You could draw your own. Like I do, <laughs> but like I I don't I don't get people. I, then again, I don't get people that jerk off the hentai. I I just like it's just just the drawing, bro. <laughs> now that stable diffusion is more advanced, AI will remove the need to pay losers to make art. No, it won't. All right, I want an angry react. I would probably sad react to this. You really devalue art that much. Really, the most human of things, the literal oldest evidence of our existence you know the thing that we made to say that we were here motherfucker <laughs> you know what do you mean by losers artists are not losers some are well let's be honest some artists are losers like shad man and creep show art but that's a different discussion for a different artists are losers and always have been they are just insecure fucks outcasted by societies and make art in their little basement like weird i'm an upstairs neighbor by the way so not in the basement. Weirdos. But now they, now that we have AI, we don't need to pay those weirdos. I like how you categorize every single artist into one stereotype. What do you mean, stereotype? Every single artist I see is just insecure weirdos making delusional romance comics. First of all, every single artist is not making romance comics. I'm making a dark fantasy comic that has some romantic subplots, alright? You know? That's just a bit of a subplot. That's not really the main story. It's more like a conspiracy sort of thing. But, you know, I, I guess if you only look at the front page of Tapas, I guess that's what you think. All right, let's move on now. I've spent way too much time here. BS argument is just devaluing the skills that you personally don't think have any worth. If you would have watched this video, you would understand that it takes quite some time to learn all the details of EG Stable Diffusion and the best extension for the A1111 web UI. Web UI. He has absolutely the legit reason to repeat this point because so many people still believe AI art is as simple as clicking on one button. Which it is. I could go on to an AI generator and just click one button right now. What should AI draw? Let's see. Uh, all right, let's dragon. Let's go with the dragon. Dragons are cool. Everybody likes dragons. Go with uh, illustration palette two. Oh, look at that. You need credits. Should be able to make one though. Boom. There we go. There's a dragon. Took a little bit to generate, but there it is. I, I don't know. All right, maybe it's not as simple as pushing one button, but maybe it's as simple as pushing three buttons. It's pretty interesting render here mostly because the tail looks like it's upside down that, the back of the neck looks kind of weird there the thing with AI art is the more you look at it the worse it becomes so okay next comment those two statements are not mutually exclusive which is in reference to something I will put that here you don't want to devid people bro you are literally spreading misinformation you're literally spreading misinformation and cannot explain anything from an objective POV your video is a clear hate against AI users no no it's not First of all, when he talks about I don't want to divide people, it means I Hey, Editor John saving past John's career right here. Listen, he's talking about the point that I made about AI-generated propaganda in relation to a certain geopolitical conflict in a certain part of the world. Now, regardless of your beliefs or anything, I think AI propaganda is a serious problem and something needs to be done about it, okay? I don't really... I'm not a politics channel. I don't want to talk about that kind of stuff here. But in the rare cases they do come up, I try to tiptoe around them. It's kind of like that awkward situation when you see a homeless person on the side of the road. Uh, you're at a red light and you accidentally make eye contact with them. You know that feeling? That awkward feeling where it's like, God damn it, turn green, turn green, turn green. Okay? That's kind of how I feel like when politics come up okay 
that's what I meant when I said I didn't want to divide people. I didn't want to bring politics into this because people are like ridiculous about that stuff now. Okay, so we're gonna move on past this. All right. Anyway. Same non-proven argument. I actually really like the term AI-assisted art. At least he has the balls to say that. I know many who don't want to admit they are using AI. You're right. There are a lot of people not using AI and creating stolen artworks and profiting off of other people's work, you know, in terms of stolen labor. That's why they're not admitting they use AI. Because the second somebody says, oh, I used AI, if you look at me like, it'd be like, oh, hey, that's a cool piece. Yeah, I made it using AI. Mmm. You know? Well, he'll probably have that kind of reaction. So that's why they're not admitting they used. I think his artwork is just very over the top and not a good representation of what you can create with AI. Just a bad, just a bad example, really. Searching online for one minute for good AI art will show the truth. The best ones are found on the community sites. I don't know about that. See. As far as I know, he said you can do it better by using just AI with only prompts. It was a different image, though, the one with holding the sword. He literally didn't use just prompts, though. Like talking to a brick wall. He is just sharing something he is proud of. He is not actively flexing on someone with low art skills. I don't agree with all his arguments, but some are good. Bro, did you not see the fucking tweet? Did you not see the tweet where he put his AI generated garbage next to some modern Marvel comic book. Now to be fair, the image he cherry picked was not very good, but he is literally flexing on someone who didn't do a good drawing. Literally. Hey guys, insert John here, and one thing I forgot to mention in the first part is that a lot of these AI art bros think that all modern art is trash. Not all modern art is trash, just a lot of the stuff you're seeing coming out of the gallery scene can be seen as that, you know, with stuff like minimalism and abstract, which are sort of like a stylistic preference, but that's a debate for a different time. It's almost like their understanding of this is like sort of just at the base level. I mentioned the Dunning-Kruger effect in one of the comments on screen that they just have a base level of understanding and they think they know everything, but there's so much more to learn. So they're sort of like only at that first bell curve. Yeah, I think some of the best artwork is being made today, actually. Just the thing is... You know, they don't realize it because they don't go looking for it. And now they think that AI can generate all this stuff, so that totally means that we could just replace these quote-unquote bad artists, right? I think that's the mentality a lot of them have, and I think it's a little ignorant. Um, that's just my thought on that. So, yeah, just throwing that in here at this point in the video. Wow, that's some comment. Okay. Alright, this is an actual pretty good comment. AI art artists. AI art bros are basically producers, not fine artists. Listen, man, if anybody in that equation is an artist, it's the programmer, okay? It is an apples to oranges comparison. The legality is for the courts to work out, which they are right now, as we speak, okay? Production is an art to be sure, but artists are just one aspect, one contribution to any production that is beyond something like an illustration on paper sitting by itself. If that's what you want as an end product, draw away. Don't use a tablet, though, or smart mask law. Taking a photograph is an act of illustration, but is not an illustration, and the creator is a photographer, not an artist. Similarly, when working with generative AI visual content, you are working with pieces that arguably could have been created by an artist in any number of software programs, using filters that they, using filters that themselves use algorithms to color grade, smart mask, the list goes on ad nauseum. The difference is mostly semantic and has been for 20 years. This is an ancient argument. To the producer, the art itself is just content strung together and used for some purpose towards some end result of the production. Whether generative AI filters were used or Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Pro filters were used, what difference does it make? Either way, it costs the producer money, frankly, and when working with an artist, you're stuck with what they gave you. If you want more control over your initial illustrations, you can try generative AI and eventually get an illustration, and if it takes you two hours and 200 generative attempts to get something roughly near what you wanted, sure, in that time, at least speaking for myself, I could use Pixel Mater and Blender to create that image myself on my kick-ass tablets, then use my other software to, in turn, assemble it into my production. What is with you guys in run-on sentences? Periods, commas, exclamation points, m dashes, semicolons, colons, ellipses. They are your friends, okay? They are for everyone. Please. God. I'm running out of breath here. I just don't see the game. It is not as fun as generative AI is. It is all to me. It can be tedious and emotionally painful. I've done that enough. Some folk just want to produce. Whether or not they have studied or practiced art is the point where they have marketable skills. In short, I respect fine artists and am one myself, but for my production and at this point in generative AI, which believe it will prove to be as fleeting as it seems, I am taking advantage of it. I will still create fine art and sell it. I sculpt, but also have a 3D printer. Do I consider do I consider the 3D printer to be cheating? Not really. I can do either as I choose. Why should I have to draw a freehand compound curve when a computer can just do it on my tablet? I am amused by the fact that all these visual content that I have created using any degree of generative AI is as much my original copyright protected work forever as my forever as any of my other works including my writing sculpture and poetry commas commas they look at these things you see these things these are called commas okay what they do is they break it up and make you have little short pauses in between so people can understand what you're saying better <laughs> I'm sorry guys just I, I've been looking at these comments and like after a while it's just like Periods, commas. Come on, use them. 
Let that sink in a bit prior to summarily dismissing content that involves generative AI if you are willing to spend the money and all are basically cost money, even if it's pencils, AI is another tool at your disposal with the huge added benefit of being super relaxing and detoxifying. Life is too short to pass judgment on tools. Just create. As someone who does both AI stuff and pen and paper art, I can say that a lot of the art community are self-absorbed narcissists. Many have their heads up their own rear end, stiffing their own farts, and will knock down and slander another artist if they gain from it without a hint of guilt. It's part of why the art community has such a large problem with forming peaceful communities, so honestly, neither side has any real right to attack the other until many problems that exist are dealt with. The saying, those living in glass houses should not throw stones, is very much a fitting statement in this situation, regardless of what people may want to believe. Don't throw stones in a glass house. I get that, I'm just tired of both sides acting like they don't throw stones at each other constantly in denial of the very serious problem that affects the art world collectively. Until a house resolves its own internal problems, it should never cast shade on another house is my way of seeing it. The sad truth is I know several people who won't even get involved in the art community because of the dog eat dog mentality that is growing in it. Okay, this whole glass houses thing. I know a lot of you might be new to my channel. I had, I had an exponential vote to the first video in this short series here. Let me just show you something. I don't know, put Zelda music here or something. Yeah, look at that. I addressed that in the past. But you look at that. <laughs> Let me just once again reiterate that um, you guys can still do your AI images, okay? That's totally fine by me. If you want to make your AI generations, that's fine. I just want you to stop being dicks about it. Alright, and let me add once again that my recreation was not that good, okay? Yes, it did come out a little masculine. The anatomy is a little janked. The perspective isn't great, alright? Nobody complained about my dragon, though, so... There's that. <laughs> now there's one thing I didn't do in the last video, and that was attempt the Jazz's brother method. Okay, just re-recording here because that uh, first take was recorded quite late at night after basically working on this video for an entire day. So I um, used the Shadowversity method. Alright, I'm done calling him Jazz's brother. I don't got any beef with the guy, just the ideas, alright? Alright, I we're cool, alright? Even though uh, some things I'm reading are a little sus, a little sussy baka, but... <laughs> What I want to talk about is why I failed to execute in the Shadowversity method is basically he wants you to run your um, artwork through an AI, download that AI image, edit that image, and keep feeding it into there until you get the image you want. So I tried running my art through this and it basically changed the entire piece and totally alienated my style from its render. Yeah, I tried a few other pieces and tried to edit the prompts in these uh, free ones that I found online. And yeah, I'm just not really happy with the way it worked, alright? That's just my thoughts on it, so that's just what I'm saying. So I'm going to wrap this one up, guys. I'm just going to say, moral of the story, AI art bros are kind of jerks. Knock it off. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's probably not going to change. And some of them are probably going to leave angry comments down here, but I said what I had to say. I'm done with this. Maybe this whole video was an exercise in futility. I'm done with talking about AI art, okay? I don't even know why it was invented in the first place. I don't understand why it was invented. This is the last video on AI art and AI art bros that I'm gonna make unless something cataclysmic happens. To wrap this up, I'm gonna leave you with a philosophical question here, all right? Let me ask you something. Would you rather have a meal of Michelin star quality made by a human who went through years of training in culinary school or that exact same meal with the exact flavors and seasonings and everything made by a robot powered by AI that learned to cook like Michelin star chef. Me personally, I'd probably take the human made one, but that's up to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know a lot of you are going to leave some angry comments down there or some supporting comments. The recent growth has been insane. Thank you all for that. Um, Fortunately, the first video got age restricted, so that one kind of got stopped dead in its tracks. But hopefully this one will leave you with a link to that and you can actually go watch it. So thank you all very much. I'll see you next time. We're done with this commentary stuff. We're going to move into art videos like I always intended next. All right. Wait, hold on. The guy from the start of the video left a reply. I think you need to allot some time to math. 12 times from my post times 5 equals 60. But if you luck to have easy job, feel free to shit on people who don't have the same luxury. Why should they create drawing easily when they can create them the hard way? <laughs> what? <laughs>